Views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Psychic Visionary and Vibrational Healers, Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, where you can call in and ask about your chakras, aura, and spiritual DNA. Tune in and discover the energy that is contradictive to your path of wholeness. Get ready to meet the most important person in your life, you. Well, hello, hello, everybody. This is your host, Carol Dorian, and you're listening to Spiritual Diagnostics. Today, we are going to be discussing soulmates. Soulmate or soul lesson. Each type of soulmate is a soulmate, meaning if it's a soul lesson, this is still a soulmate connection. If it is a soulmate, of course, obviously that is a soulmate connection as well. So there's more than one type of soulmate connection. And it's very important to recognize why somebody is in your life. What is the purpose? that this relationship is there? What is the meaning of your meeting? Is this person meant to be with you through this journey as your partner, sharing a life, sharing plans, sharing your dreams, and supporting one another's spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical needs? Or has the person come into your life for you to learn a lesson as well as for them to learn a lesson? And for those of you who are listening to the show, call in, ask questions regarding your soulmate, regarding love, regarding anything that you desire to. And for those of you who would like to call after the show, you can do so at 312 898-2285 that's 312-898-2285 or log on to spirituald.com so throughout the show the lines are open and anybody is free to call in whenever they would like with their questions or their comments let's start with the flow of connection. It is so important to identify the meaning of the flow. We can naturally identify when we're feeling a flow, when we're feeling the connection. So this is when your energy connects to someone that you've just met, yet you recognize this person as someone that you've always known. You may find yourself finishing each other's sentences, feeling each other's feelings, thinking each other's thoughts. And at some points and in some cases, you may find yourself learning each other's lessons. There are so many reasons for this type of connection. And it can be a wonderful, beautiful awesome connection, but there are times that if we are not understanding why a person is in our life, the flow of the connection may be misunderstood, or we may find ourselves stretching out beyond the capacity and beyond the time that that person is meant to be in our lives and for the reason. So let's think about it. You meet somebody, it's somebody that you've just met, 
and you feel very comfortable, very familiar in this person's energy, either immediately or very, very soon into the relationship, you know that this is not an accident. You know that this person, the way that the two of you communicate, the way the two of you understand each other, you have something here. But there seems to be challenges. Sometimes there seems to be obstacles. Does that mean that because there's challenges or because there's obstacles that this person is not your soul mate, they're only your soul lesson? Not necessarily. Every relationship has challenges and every relationship has obstacles. But sometimes we'll find ourselves so confused, like it's flowing, it's going, and then all of a sudden communication stops. Or just when that relationship has really reached a high ground and seems to be going in the right direction, all of a sudden you feel that this person is pulling away or you may feel yourself pulling away. And you're wondering, what is this? Why is this happening? You find yourself resolving that issue. It may clear. You reconnect and you pick up exactly where you left off. Again, things are wonderful. Things seem to be flowing. Then all of a sudden, there's a cutoff, a restriction. The communication between you and this person is different. Even the connection doesn't seem to be as strong. And you're thinking, so here we are going through this again. So this is where a cycle starts to become created. You may compare this relationship that I'm describing to prior relationships and ask yourself, this situation, am I repeating it over and over again with this person who is now presently and currently in my life? Or do I find myself repeating this cycle in my love life and through relationships continually? And if you really step back and, and look at the relationships that you've been in, and then look at the relationship that you're in now and ask yourself, do I, have I just been going through this in this present relationship? Or does this seem to be a repeat cycle? Some of your answers of is this person my soul mate or my soul lesson will actually be in the question that you're asking yourself. So let's take it from the person that discovers every relationship I get into, it seems to be going in the pattern of this relationship. That is usually a sign that there is a lesson to be learned. Now, we are constantly learning lessons, and yes, even from our soul mates, the people we're meant to go through this whole journey with, we are learning lessons. But it's a different type of a lesson when somebody has entered your life for that purpose only, but you're holding on to the relationship to take it further. And that's where you kind of find yourself battling. That's where it feels like it's a constant struggle to stay in the relationship or you're not letting go of that person You're constantly trying to keep the lines of communication open in one way or another, but it seems to be that that person is becoming further and further from you. It very well may be, and in most cases, it is. If that is what is happening, there is something that you are meant to realize through this connection and this is your soul lesson. And once that is realized, and this is painful, sometimes it's very difficult for us just to accept that realization and say, okay, I'm done. Because even when the mind is done, the heart 
has a very difficult time making that understanding. And once that lesson is realized, the time between the two of you is either meant to end or go to another level, whatever that level may be. But it may not be as your life partner. So when you find yourself breaking up, getting back together again, breaking up, getting back together again, more than once, and a pattern is developing, this is usually because in the time that the two of you have spent, you still have not absorbed your lesson or resolved the karmic residuals. So let's go to the portion of this that is you're going through these difficulties with this person because there is a flip side to it. You're going through obstacles in this relationship. Can it be that this person is your soulmate? There's just some damages that need to be repaired from a prior lifetime? Absolutely. Can it be that there are solutions and reasons why you and your soulmate are continuing to come together and then pull apart and facing a situation where the communication is either cut off in some way or there's obstacles and interferences that restrict the flow, the connection, and the happiness that the two of you have together, yet this is still the soulmate. You're still meant to be together once these issues are removed and resolved. Definitely. So it's not always to say that if you're going through obstacles, it was your soul lesson. It still may be your soul mate. So then if both situations, if the same situation can happen in both scenarios, how do we have an understanding of is this the soul mate or is this the soul lesson? Some of you might be listening to this saying, if I can go through difficulty and obstacles, and that's a sign that it is the soul lesson, but I can go through difficulties and obstacles and it still may be my soul mate, how do I come to the understanding? How do I come to the conclusion, the discernment of the person in my life? What is their purpose? What is the connection that the two of us have? Are the obstacles that we face repairable? Can we move forward? Can we repair it? Or is it something that we're meant to release? And we're getting ready to take a break. And when we come back, I'd like to touch on the discernment of understanding. Is it soul mate or soul lesson? Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Welcome to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat Basile, the host of the Dr. Pat Show, and I am so thrilled that we've created this venue for all of you out there. Dr. Pat Basile will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. What we have heard is that you want to ensure for us that we keep positive, holistic, uplifting, transformative talk radio on the air. We're excited to bring you the contemporary conversations about Lyme disease. We promise not to let the light fade on Lyme. So fasten your seat belts. We've got lots more to share with you in the weeks to come. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio with Dr. Pat and help keep our mission strong on TransformationTalkRadio.com. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Vadili. All you need to do is visit his website, AtanaMethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A Method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's Atana Method. 
Com. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Tune in to the General Oyster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Hello, everybody. It is really great to be back talking about soul mate and soul lesson. How do we discern the difference? For those of you who are listening, you have any questions regarding your relationship, wanting to know if the person that you are with is your soul mate, wanting to know if the obstacles you are going through can be repaired, or does the situation need to be released? Whatever your questions, whatever your concerns are, go ahead and give us the call. The phone lines are open at this time. And for those of you who desire more confidentiality, give me a call after the show at 312-898-2285. That's 312 312- Eight nine eight two two eight five, or log on to my site spirituald.com. For those of you who call during or after the show, you will receive a free full life reading with a soulmate reading, and this will cover the vibrations of your relationship and all areas of your life, giving you insight answers clarity and information. And going back to the flow, going back to the connection, you're in the relationship, you're feeling the connection, you're feeling that this is somebody that you have known and recognized in your heart and in your spirit. This person completes you. But why is it that you just can't seem to get past a certain point or you keep running up to the same obstacle or difficulty. If it is that when this relationship is good, you are supportive of one another's dreams, one another's emotions, one another's desires, If it is that you feel very whole and very complete and you're both feeling the soulmate connection at the same time, then that is your confirmation that that is exactly who this person is to you. In other words, if it is your soulmate, if this person is your soulmate, This is the person you're meant to spend your life with. There's always going to be a confirmation. You're not going to be feeling it, but and they're feeling it, or they're not feeling it, and you are feeling it. You're both going to feel it. You're both going to know that the two of you do have a connection. 
Maybe this person won't refer to it as a soulmate. Maybe they'll refer to this as a twin flame connection. Or I know that we're meant to be. I feel the connection that we have. But you both feel the same thing. When there is a soulmate connection, does it mean that the relationship is perfect without obstacles? Absolutely not. You can have many obstacles with your soulmate, but you will be evenly yoked. In order to be soulmates, you must have the same type of path, plan, and direction. Even if your path, plans, and directions are different, they must be serving at least the same type of purpose. For an example, I was working with a lady and she was telling me that the person that she is with, she said, we're such opposites, yet we attract. Well, the things that were attracting them, and this person did definitely connect to their soulmate, the things that were attracting them was they both had the same type of communication patterns. They both had the same types of desires. They both viewed love and relationship and commitment in the same way. Your soulmate is not going to see a pattern and plan of life completely opposite of what you see. They may go about it in a different way. They may express love in a different way. Some people will express it through saying, I love you. I was thinking of you today. Some may never say that, but their actions, the things that they do say it. So even if two people say the same things to each other in very different ways, it is still meaning that they are communicating the same thing, even if it's in two very different ways. So to simplify it, the signs that the person is your soulmate, they feel the same connection that you do. They support and understand your plans, your thoughts, your endeavors. They support your emotional flow of energy. They understand and connect to the things that make you happy and you do the same. You both look at each other and recognize that you're meant to be together. So some people might be saying, well, if two people understand and support all of that, why would there be problems? Well, sometimes there are residuals that people are facing from past and present situations. Let's start off with the most common residual. That is the past life residual. That is where something has not been finished in a prior lifetime between two people that is resurfacing in a present lifetime and it is not allowing the flow and the connection to continue. So there always seems to be an interruption. Sometimes that interruption will manifest itself through outside interferences of other people. And when that's the case, I'm usually seeing when I'm doing a soulmate reading on a person, I'm usually seeing that the two of them in a prior lifetime, the obstacles and situations that they were facing were due to outside interferences, other people and situations outside of the relationship. That type of residual usually seems to follow suit in the present lifetime as well. Another situation that is very common when people are soulmates and everything is wonderful, yet there seems to be some type of restriction or cutoff between them, there usually seems to be something that they must release from the present, from the lifetime that they're in now that could be blocking the way that they connect. It could be leaving a fear or a regret or a feeling of unworthiness that has nothing to do with the person they're in the relationship with. It could be their own or it could be your own residual effect of an experience that has not been released, that is blocking you or this person. It could be a relationship that they were in that was very difficult or trying, hurtful, painful, 
mentally, emotionally, or physically abusive. I've seen a lot of that and where that seems to be the fear factor that now that they've connected to their soulmate, they cannot completely open up because they're carrying residuals from a prior experience or relationship that seems to activate this cutting off. And that's the self-protective mechanism that sometimes naturally activates. So there's many different signs and symptoms that there are people who are soulmates that just need to have residuals released. So some of you might be saying, can two people resolve spiritual residuals if they are soulmates and only one of the people are holding on to the residual? Absolutely. I have worked with people who have contacted me saying, I know that this person is my soulmate. I know that the two of us are meant to be together, but it seems to be that we keep running into this pattern. And I've gone into their soulmate reading and I've discovered they are soulmates. They are meant to be together. But the person that they love is holding an obstacle, a residual from a past lifetime, a residual from their childhood, a residual that can be from a past relationship. And that person will say to me, well, Carol, if this is their residual and they're not ready to release it, how? what can I do? And I have worked with people in where, but this only works if the two of them are soulmates and where I am working with the person who loves that person to send that healing energy to their soulmate. We go through a meditative process and where we are receiving love, light, healing, and disconnections that their soulmate needs to make in order to move forward with them. And we're transferring that energy to the person that they love. Does it mean that that person has to be a part of the meditation for it to work? They don't have to consciously be a part of the meditation. But because they are your soulmate, they will receive the energy that you are sending. So yes, if you love someone and that person loves you and you are meant to be together, you can send them the healing vibrations that they need and it will open up their willingness and it will activate their ability to heal. This is basically, it's an intercessory meditation where we activate the person that you love and care about. We're activating their healing through you. So these are the solutions to some of the solutions to when you're with the person that you love but the, and this person loves you dearly too, but there seems to be a spiritual residual that is blocking the two of you. Excuse me. This is where we send out the healing, we send out the energy, and we locate. Are the two of you going through this because of a past lifetime? Are the two of you going through this because of current residuals in the present lifetime, it's very important to locate where that energy is coming from. We're getting ready to take a break, and when we return, we're going to discuss these signs and symptoms that lead to awareness that this is the soul lesson, not the soul mate, just as soon as we return. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Badili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? 
Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit SpiritualD.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit the Fear and Anxiety Solution. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine, and my show is Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. When we're bogged down with our emotions, the hardships that plague us in our relationships, at work, our finances, we literally can't see the higher plane where we could be operating from. Tune in to Leslie Fontaine, Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Well, it is great to be back. This is Carol Dorian, and we are talking about soulmates and soul lessons. So, before we took our break, we discussed the connection of the soulmate, that yes, you can have problems, you can have difficulties. It does not mean that if somebody is your soulmate, Everything is just going to flow perfectly. It doesn't mean that you're not going to face some difficulties. And we discussed what those difficulties may be, where they may be coming from, and how it can be identified. But now let's go into more of the soul lesson. And this is when you have to really be ready to see really ready to understand that the person that you have been with, it's not that they've come into your life in vain, but your time together is up. It's not meant to go any further, and you are holding on to a situation. You are holding on to a relationship that is basically not taking you anywhere, and it is not healthy. And how you will identify that, is you will find yourself constantly struggling for this person's attention. You will feel ignored at times. You will feel isolated. And even in their presence, you may find yourself feeling alone. You may find that this person has an effect on you that just makes you feel unworthy unsupported, insecure. It's a feeling at times I've had it described to me as, you know, in the beginning things were really good and I don't understand what happened. Now I'm starting to feel like this person doesn't really want me in their life, is pushing me away, but not only pushing me away, making me feel very bad about myself. And sometimes this is done through verbal, mental, or emotional abuse. So for those of you who are involved with somebody 
who is being mentally abusive, verbally abusive to you, this is definitely not, this is not your soulmate. I had a gentleman contact me and he was talking about how much he loved and adored this woman that he was in a seven-year relationship with. And he said that she had brought so much light and happiness into his life. And just being with her, when the phone rings, he's just so happy to see that she's called. Her name will pop up on caller ID and feels butterflies in his stomach. And this isn't a young guy. I mean, he's, he's not old, but he's certainly not a teenager. You know, he's up there in his age, adult enough to know the difference between infatuation and love. And I said, so what is it about this relationship that makes you so happy and excited? And he says, oh, it's just her. It's just when she's around. And I said, so what does she do when she's around? Describe the relationship. And he was there just stumbling for his words. I said, describe your communication. He then opened up and started telling me, that she was insulting, that she was demanding, that she was always basically letting him know that he wasn't enough of this or enough of that. And, you know, I sat there and I listened to him. And I said, and you, do you feel this woman is your soulmate? And he said, yes, because when it's good, it's great. When we're getting along, it is fantastic. And I looked at him and I said, This is not your soulmate. This is your soul lesson. Even though when the two of you get along, it is great. When the two of you are not getting along, this person is bringing you down, draining your energy. And it took him a while to accept that. I mean, he he was in denial of it and did not want to accept that. And it's a very difficult thing to accept. It's like saying, I've wasted seven years of my life, but think of how many more years this man could have wasted. Think of the years that many of us can waste with someone who does not support our greatest good and our happiness. So the signs that it is your soul lesson is not always the person becomes abusive or you become abusive. Sometimes the two of you may just drift apart. The connection doesn't feel the same. It's gone from intimacy to just feeling like friends, and that's okay. That's a different type of connection. It's just not the soulmate that you're meant to spend your life with. So if it goes from abusive or goes to the feeling and the desire by one of you, or both of you have totally changed the the physical desire, the intimacy, the communication is on a complete different level. That is usually a sign that your time and your contract in that area has been fulfilled. Or sometimes it cannot be put into words, but there is a feeling that something is just very different And one of you or both of you do not desire to keep that connection. But you will be surprised to know that so many people experience that and they are still wanting to go against that. And that's going against the grain. That's holding on to the relationship that does not serve your path and your purpose as well as the other person's. So, Why do we do that? Why do we still want to believe that this is the soulmate when everything in us is showing us clearly that whatever we had with this person at that time has definitely expired? We are meant to go into another direction. Some of the reasons that we do that are residuals of fear, regret, and a feeling of unworthiness. Sometimes this is surfacing, like I said earlier, from prior lifetimes, from unwanted hurts, pain, or difficulties in the present lifetime that 
our aura, our spirit, or our chakras is retaining and needs to be released. So what does this do to a person overall? If you are in a relationship that is not taking you anywhere other than back to the beginning or to a continual hurt and disappointment, breaking you down emotionally, mentally, and eventually it will break you down physically and spiritually. If you find yourself in that pattern and you're holding on so tight to this, not wanting to let it go, you're blocking out the love, the fulfillment, the bliss, the peace, the happiness that you are meant to receive. You're sealing off your aura. You're closing off your energy field to receiving new experiences. Some of you may be listening to this and you may have heard everything I said and still have some confusion as to how to discern. Is the person you're with your soulmate or your soul lesson? Does this relationship need to be repaired? Can your relationship be repaired or does it need to be released? I'm here to tell you that your answer is within you. And I would love to assist you in finding your answer, working with you as a catalyst to tapping into the answer regarding this matter that your spirit and understanding has that you may not be facing. So if you desire to call in and ask questions, that's wonderful. You're free to call in. But for those of you who desire more personal and private one-on-one -on -one information, call after the show at 312-898-2285. That's 312-898-2285. Or log on to spirituald.com. For those of you who call in during or after the show, you will receive free of charge, a soulmate reading, as well as a full life reading. Sometimes we're just in need of answers and clarity, whether we are holding on to a relationship that serves no purpose or path. Sometimes we need to know if it can be repaired or does it need to be released. And sometimes we know if it can be repaired or we know that it does need to be released and we just need the confirmation of what it is that we already know. And a soulmate reading, a one-on-one -on -one consultation is going to give you the answers, clarity, solutions, as well as the confirmations for some of you that you may be needing to make your decisions. So many of us are at a place and a stage in our life that we desire to move forward, but we're fearful of releasing what we have in the present because of uncertainty or insecurity that the future has anything to offer. It absolutely does. And we're going to touch more on the repair or release aspect as soon as we return from this short break. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called, to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, 
visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. It's that time of the year again. The Woman of Wisdom Fall Harvest Festival is right around the corner. Join us on October 1st from 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. at North Seattle Community College Conference Center. Admission is free. Festivities include arts and crafts, energy healers, intuitive readers, delicious food, and more. Don't miss this fun-filled event. For more information, visit womanofwisdom.org. That is womanofwisdom.org. And we'll see you there. Well, hello, everybody. I'm delighted to be back talking about soul mate or soul lesson. For those of you who have questions, feel free to call in and ask your questions. For those of you who would like a one-on-one free soul mate reading with a full life reading, please call 312-898-2285. That's 312-898-2285. 2285. You can call after the show and I would love to schedule time with you. So now we are discussing repair or release. For those of you who are in a relationship and you're not knowing this is your soulmate or you do know it is your soulmate or you're not knowing if this is your soul lesson Or maybe you do know it is your soul lesson, but you just need the strength to make the decisions. You just need the clarity and the understanding to make the decisions that you need to make, whether it is releasing the connection and the soul tie that you have to this person, be it because the relationship is painful, unhealthy, Whatever it is about it that causes you distress or pain, sometimes you just need that strength. Or if you need the patience and understanding to repair it, that comes through identifying the connection. You can decide to repair it or release it. And it is possible to do so. Repair is very possible with your soulmate. How do we go about the identification? Through a soulmate reading, I can receive the vibrations of the person who is your soulmate, and I will be able to describe to you what it is, who it is, and how the person is in your life. So when we do a one-on-one consultation, which after this show, like I said, is free of charge, we will be able to connect you to that understanding. Identification is the first step of the process of repairing or releasing. It is only through identifying 
in any situation that you have the understanding of the path that you are going to take and the decisions that you are going to make. Each and every one of you are carrying your own solution, your own healing, your own lessons that activate wholeness. We all carry this ability, but at times due to hurt, disappointment, pain, or denial, we are not activating and using what it is that we carry within our spirit that propels us to move forward. Every locked door in your life, especially relationship situations, you have the key of recognition and understanding. Sometimes it's just the need to be pointed inward to finding your solution. So for those of you who are listening, again, you can contact me at 312-898-2285. So in repairing or releasing, it is about identifying. Some of you may be listening to this and you may have already identified a long time ago what and who this person is to you. If you need confirmation of that, you can call or maybe you have already received your confirmation because you've heard this and it's matching the discernment, the thoughts, the feelings that you've already had. So many times we find a person in our life that makes us so happy and fulfills us on so many levels and we just can't figure out why is it that I am stuck or why is it that when it comes to my love life, this is the area that I keep finding myself in time and time again. And that is where identification comes in. Sometimes the repair or release is not about repairing a relationship with someone else or releasing the relationship with someone else. Sometimes the repair and the release is about releasing whatever it is that you've been holding that does not allow you to move forward from a situation or move forward to the situation that you need to be in. So for those of you who are listening and desire some enlightenment, understanding, direction, and confirmation, feel free to give me a call after the show or log on to my site, spirituald.com. It has been absolutely delightful talking about love and the flow of connection, the soulmate connection, soulmates and soul lessons. We all have them. We all experience them. It's just important to come to the complete understanding of the role, the connection, the lesson, the flow of the energy, the solutions and the reasons whether it is a past life residual, whether it is a present retention, whether it is fear, regret, or the illusion of unworthiness, you can break free, move forward, move from, and move to the perfect path and direction, releasing anything in your life that does not serve you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostic Radio, Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, diagnosing the spiritual cause of unwanted life patterns. For more information on your favorite healers, visit spirituald.com and tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio to receive your weekly dose of enlightenment.